So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every Friday. And you've been asking me in the reviews, can you continue with the statistical series? We really liked it and I'm back on it. Okay, so today we are going to see how to calculate quartiles. The thing with this series that is a bit different from the other there is that I not only show you the DAX function that does the statistical stuff, I also explain what the statistical stuff means and what it is used for, okay? So, quartiles. What is the deal with that? And let me show you first. Uh, I think it's impossible, important to understand the concept and then you can start doing the calculations. So, what is a quarter? I have here five numbers. I have the minimum and the maximum of a data set. I haven't shown you the data set. You don't know how it looks like. We have the minimum, the maximum, we have the first quartile, the second quartile, the third quarter. Okay? So if I show you this and I don't show you nothing else, I'm telling you a lot of information. Let me show you. So the first thing I'm telling you is that this, um, let me go back there. So 36 is actually Q3, quartile, uh, no, three, quarter, quartile two. And it is the middle, the average, the median of the data set. So that's the middle point in your data set. Which means that 50% of the values will be to the right and 50% of the values will be to the left. Okay? So it's telling you that. Now, let's continue. What is first quarter or Q1 telling you? It's telling you that... 25% of the values will be to the left. So it will be smaller. 25% of the values will be smaller than 26. And Q3 is telling us that 25% of the values will be bigger than 51.50. Okay? So with just those numbers, we can start to see how the data set looks like without actually seeing the entire row or data set. We also see the minimum and the maximum. So this is very useful, for example, to see if there are outliers. It means that if there are numbers that are very, very large or very, very small that do not fit with the data set. So this is what quartiles do. Okay, good. So next question, how do we calculate quartiles? I'm going to show you. It is actually very easy too. So if we go to, let me put it in a new page, and we're going to do a very, very simple example. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm going to put 11 so it's even more clear. Okay, so we have this data set. How do I calculate the different quartiles? Quartal 2 is the middle of the data set. So this is Q2. And that means that the same number of values you'll find to the right and to the left. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If it's an even, add and divide, okay? Average, basically. Now, what is Q1? Q1 is all the values there are to the left of your data set in here. So there are below, not to the left, it's a bit, there are below the medium. You know, you do the average of those and the average of those will be Q1. And the average of the ones to the right or higher will be Q3. So it is actually very, very, very simple calculation. So you have the average of everything and then the average of the stuff to the left or less than the medium and the average of the right or, you know, the higher of the medium value. Good. Okay, now that we know that, question is, how do we calculate um, the quotas, right? Is there a function in DAX that allows us to do that? And the answer is yes, it is. And it is called percentile. Okay, so you have two, you have actually four. You have percentile, 
excluding, percentile including, and then percentile x if you want to do it row by row, excluding and percentile x including, row by row, okay? So, question is, what is the difference between x and ink? What does it mean excluding or including? Where are we excluding? What are we including? And for that, I'm going to show you. We have, I have a small data set here that it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 values. And we're going to calculate the percentile X and the percentile ink. So if we go here, new measure, we're going to put percentile X for the 10% equal to percentile X. Okay. And now we're going to put the column where the data is. And then you put the percentage that you want. So in this case, we say we want to calculate the 10% percentile of it. Okay. So you put the 10%. And this will calculate quarter, you know, the percentage, how many data points are below, you know, are 10% below that whatever number shows up here. Okay, so we go and we put it in here, we put it as a card, we, we get 1.10. Remember, we had 1 to 10. So 1.10, it means that 10% of the data points are below 1. 10% of the data points are below 1.1. Okay, now let's do the same, but we're going to do 5%. So we got percent excluded for the 5%. And we calculate percent excluded for our data and then we want to have 5% so 0 0.05 we put it in here and we get an error click on it I'm prepared to see some Latin <laughs> the percentage value must be in the range of 1 divided n plus 1 to n divided n plus 1 inclusive where n is the number of data values Clear, right? Joking. Okay. Let's do one thing before I explain. We go to the next to do create a new measure. And this time we're going to do percentage including for 5%. So we do percentage included. We put that one in there. And then we say the same 5%. It's exactly the same measure. But this one is excluding and the other one is including so we put it in here come on and suddenly we get a value so why can one give us a value and the other one cannot okay let me see if i can explain this correctly i think it's easy to understand but you never know so here's the thing we're going to write the values in here we have one oh um yeah, okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we know that 1.1 1 .1 is our quarter, no, is, you know, is the point where 10% of the data values are below that. Now, if we are, if we are asking for 5%, there is no data in here to give us that value. There are no numbers that are on the 5% range. And that's why excluding is giving us an error, why including is trying to calculate something and it says it's 1.45, which is not. I don't know why included exists, but excluded, I would say, is the way to go. If you know cases where you have included, just jump in the comments. So. Hope this explains. When there are no values in the data range that you are asking for, excluded will tell you that, and I think that is important. Okay. So that's the difference. Um, and that, 
yeah, <laughs> I think the way we explain everything actually. So now you know how to. Well, no, yes, I, we were going to calculate. Oh my god, we were going to calculate actually the quotas, right? So how do you calculate quadrilles? You already know that, but let me. So to calculate quadrille one. So Q1, it will be the percentile excluded, and then you put your data, and then the quarter wall is 0 0.25. Okay. Quarter 2 is 0 0.5, quarter 3 is 0 0.75, and that's how you get everything. So I hope this explains how to calculate quarters. I hope this explains how the percentile function works and what is the difference between excluded and included. So fingers crossed that I did all right. Okay, so enjoy your weekend and I'll see you again on Monday with another video. Hope you are having a great vacation if you are already on vacation. Okay, so until then, bye bye.